Good afternoon, everybody. It is Meteorology Age Love Forecasting, and welcome back to the video. Hope you guys are all enjoying your wonderful Wednesday afternoon. I'm actually quite excited because technically today was the last day of school for me because I have two field trips one tomorrow that's all day, and uh, one Friday that's all day too. So basically, I don't have classes until Monday, which is great. So today is my last day, but today's gonna be a very interesting upload. We're not going to be doing a U.S. forecast like that. We've done, been, been doing for the past couple of days. We're going to be talking about our first nor'easter that could bring snow in the northeast. And it's not our first nor'easter this October. It's actually, our, I think, our second. But this could be the first one that actually brings in snow for the northeast, including New Hampshire, New York, and Vermont. Maybe even areas in Maine. And this is going to bring in possibly very, very close to Category 1 force winds up to a foot of rain. And just incredibly cloudy conditions with the rain. You guys probably won't see the sun till early next week. It just all depends, guys. And we're gonna have uh, plenty of. We're just. It's basically gonna be looking like a hurricane, even though it's not. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for the daily updates. We're I think 30 subscribers from 1,900. So let's get closer to that goal to 2,000, and then we'll see from there. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. But let's get in the video. So here we are looking at the National Weather Service for active alerts, and we're going to be focusing just on the east. We're not going to be looking at anything over here. We're just going to be focusing on this right here, if this uh, thing works. My epic pain usually is a glitchy for like the first two seconds or so. But we're going to be focusing just on this. And as you can tell, we have a plenty of wind advisories for areas from the Carolinas to Pennsylvania. And then almost all of the east of uh, the New England coast there. So we also have high wind warnings. Uh, we have some high wind warnings out here for Maine and for the coastal areas. If you guys are near Long Island or Rhode Island, you guys would definitely be seeing very, very close to Category 1 forest winds. Again, with these wind advisories, it's going to be uh, over um, maybe 40 miles per hour. But if you're in the high wind warnings, you guys would definitely be seeing incredibly strong winds. Up to maybe hurricane force winds. We also do have some flash flood watches in effect for these areas that we could see up to a foot of rain with this storm. We could possibly see another nor'easter by next week, which is going to, by, by, um, by uh, Halloween, we'll be seeing, exactly on Halloween, we'll be seeing about a foot or more of rain in these areas, which is incredibly dangerous because you guys aren't really used to that much rain. You guys aren't really in the south. Uh, but again, it would be northern New York, areas near Concord, New Hampshire, and near Burlington, Vermont. That's where we've seen those issues for flooding, and we would definitely be seeing way more flood uh, issues. Uh, we also do have some coastal flood advisories near southern Maryland. And we also have some uh, flood advisories out there for the New Jersey area near New York City. And we also do have storm warnings from this um, nor'easter storm just off the New England coast. But it's actually touching some of the coastal areas of Massachusetts and Maine, which is an issue. And that's we also do have some gale, uh, gale warnings all across the East Coast with this system. Now we're going to be looking at the NAND 3K on... 3km model that is very detailed and as you can tell we're by uh, this is actually in the next hour in the next hour we'll be seeing incredibly heavy uh, rain across many areas of the east coast again uh, that's going to be the main issue with this uh, threat here uh, this actually thing can maybe uh, load I'm waiting for my actually the mouse thing to work okay here we go the next hour or so we'll be seeing very heavy rain near Philadelphia very heavy rain for Baltimore and the Washington, D.C. area, and also near Virginia Beach. We'll have some rain. We'll have that rain continue to go into the north, uh, to, to the north. So, by New York City, you guys start to see some showers. If you guys out there near Albany, you guys will be clear. And then if you Buffalo, you guys will be getting very heavy rain. By the next couple hours tonight, this rain will intensify incredibly fast, bringing thunderstorm, uh, possibly a tropical storm force winds for Philadelphia. If you, if you guys are in Philadelphia, you guys will definitely be seeing incredibly harsh conditions tonight. And also for Delaware, we'll see, see, start, start to see that rain for Connecticut, Massachusetts. The rain will start to get to Albany and uh, still not get to, get to come for the uh, areas in the New England area. As we continue into tomorrow, this will actually be very, very dangerous right here. As you can tell, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and uh, New York are all going to be seeing incredibly 
very very heavy rain conditions especially connecticut you guys are almost the whole state's almost in the yellow or orange which is actually very 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 heavy rain new york city will be seeing very heavy rain rhode island near uh providence will also be seeing that heavy rain continuing through the uh, albany air getting to burlington and concord start to see some a light rain by later tomorrow this rain will start to get closer to uh, the areas near portland may we'll also see most of new hampshire getting under that rain still boston massachusetts still hartford uh connecticut still continue to see heavy rain albany still gonna get the rain by by uh thursday or tomorrow it's later tomorrow it should be in the clear for many areas in new york and uh, new jersey and this is again what we're talking about it could bring in some snow out here for Vermont and New York and maybe even uh, a couple inches of mountain snow. We'll look at the uh, precipitation of snow and the total precip later. And again, it could even bring some snow out there into New Hampshire. Again, it's not going to be very widespread snow like those other uh, nor'easters in March or uh, maybe even April. Of course, this isn't October nor'easter. It's our, our second, but the first to bring in a somewhat amount of snow. As we look into the GFS, again, this is not as detailed as the last one we looked at. But as you can tell, this is to uh, tomorrow. Look at how widespread this red is. It kind of looks like a, a kind of a hurricane-looking thing, like not Hurricane Sandy. Hurricane Sandy was a bit smaller, but um, it was somewhat looking. Like, it looks like a hurricane or a hurricane with the amount of rain. And you can see how widespread it is. Even Cle areas in e Erie and Cleveland, you guys will be starting to uh, feel this. And these winds will obviously bring in incredibly uh, huge issues. Near Albany, also again, the New York City, the New York area will start to see some heavy snow, and then we'll also see areas again in Maine, Portland, Maine, uh, areas in Boston, um, uh, Harrisburg, all these areas in New York, uh, Philadelphia, you guys will start to see some heavy rain, and then we could possibly have another nor'easter to come in later into October that could actually cause some issues. It could be possibly be another nor'easter, but we need to see. If this low pressure system can maybe switch around right here, which will obviously bring in more uh, wind and it'll bring more rain. Again, we're, we're going to be seeing enough of this rain for the northeast. As you can tell, we're going to be seeing continuously rain after rain after rain after rain. And it's just going to somewhat get tiring. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. And now we're going to be looking at the European radar for a second. So, you guys, uh, the European model actually wasn't working yesterday. I do not know why, um, I don't know why this wasn't popping up, but I, it, it should be working today. I got it to, um, so we just need to wait for it to actually pop up or something. But yeah, let's just wait for the pop up. Okay, so the European finally reloaded and all that. But here we are, as you can tell, we're going to have very, very heavy rain. Here we have this low pressure from just off the coast. Again, Long Island, you guys will definitely be seeing possibly one of the worst conditions up to 72 miles per hour or maybe even a little bit over that. But again, we'll see this rain all the way into Ontario, uh, areas all the way very north of Toronto. You guys will definitely be seeing very heavy rain. As you can tell, it's a very, very big system. Like, this is all one system. Hard, it looks like a hurricane. Kind of like Hurricane Sandy, uh, but obviously a smaller uh sandy was sandy was smaller again here you see that snow in the ice mix in the uh, national park in new york and again we'll see the, uh, just in these areas south and east of it will have very very heavy rain just south and east now bringing very heavy rain and we're actually gonna have to watch out for the gulf of mexico with possibly a system maybe forming and that can bring in that second system for the uh for obviously the northeast and then that will bring in more and more rain. So as you can tell, the, the uh, east coast, in, include mostly the northeast, will not see a break from this rain anytime soon. Earlier, a couple days ago, we complained about how you guys not hadn't had rain in a long time. Now we're seeing too much rain, like a foot of rain. That's kind of crazy for not a hurricane system in the northeast. So in the next six hours, we are seeing the winds picking up in these areas. Uh, we also, also have, again, those winds pop uh picking up in the lake michigan that's what we usually see at this time of the year but let me actually move like this uh so as you can tell we are seeing up to 44 miles this is miles uh 54 sorry 54 knots and this is 10 meter wind gust so this is actually all on the ground this is not the h uh 850 hpa that's completely different this is on the ground uh we have 44 uh miles per hour near the areas of 
uh, southern New York. Again, the winds don't pick up until the next 12 hours. We actually get up to 69 knots. Right here, we have 69 knots. Kind of crazy. But look, it actually impacts many areas in New Jersey, seeing 40 to 41 uh, miles per hour. And these uh, at Long Island, seeing 40 to 42 knots. Again, these areas still in the uh, air. Areas in the National Park in New York are seeing up to 38 knots. Other than that, these areas in the New England area are calming down. But look at this 93 knots off the coast this is category two force winds we're going to be seeing category two force winds for the islands of massachusetts and possibly areas near long island and rhode island could be seeing more than 68 knots as you can tell we could see 74 knots just off the coast of connecticut and rhode island this is going to bring a widespread up to 49 knots for New Hampshire up to 55 knots for the areas near New Brunswick. We have 58 knots for the western part of Massachusetts. It's going to bring in up to Category 2 force winds. This is a very possibly historic nor'easter could happen within the next couple of hours. The next 24 hours, it actually gets to, to 87 knots, but actually brings in worse conditions for Boston. 72 knots for the, the Massachusetts, the island of Massachusetts. It brings in 67 knots near Portland and brings in 54 to 60 knots for New Hampshire. Again, these areas, some of these areas are in the mountains and can see worse conditions. So just think about that. Guys, this is kind of incredibly crazy. Now, the precipitation, again, will surprise you even more. So, this is actually the next couple of, uh, actually, this thing just reload. Okay, never mind. This thing actually wasn't working at first. But look at this. We can see two feet of rain off the Atlantic coast. And that's not what's surprising. Look at this. The whole, this whole region, northeast and mid-Atlantic, the Ohio Valley, will be seeing more than two inches. But that's not a lot. But look at this, guys. Look at this. How much rain we will see in the next couple of days is just incredibly, 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 incredibly high. Some of these areas in New York right here could be seeing up to 16 inches of rain. This is incredibly rare. Not only that, it's going to be incredibly dangerous with these flooding issues. Cars are not used to this. Areas in New York, you guys can be seeing up to 7 to 9 inches of rain. This whole bubble or whole area right here will be seeing more than half a foot of rain. These uh, Most of the areas in, in Vermont and western Massachusetts could be seeing up to a foot of rain. Guys, this is not only rare. It's a once in a lifetime nor'easter that happens this early. We've seen a historic blizzard to uh, a week and a half ago. We're now we're seeing a historic nor'easter. Again, this may not bring too much rain or sorry, too much snow, but this is going to bring a whole a lot of rain, and then we could have another nor'easter that brings in additional rainfall to come. So yeah, we're gonna have many areas near Portland and uh, could see up to again half a foot of rain or more. Again, it's just going to bring widespread flooding. It's just incredible. Now, we also want to see total snowfall, exactly how much snow it will bring. Again, this won't bring in too much snow, only about a half a foot for these areas in the mountain ranges. And then we could have the uh, up to less than an inch around and all that. And then we could have uh, just less than over an inch of her uh, main. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is actually very, this video is actually very exciting because I just love posting about no research and all that this will definitely be historic and if you guys have any people or family or anything that live in the northeast go ahead and share this video to them uh guys again this is going to be very dangerous so i just need you guys to help me out getting people safe if you guys live anywhere from virginia all the way to maine you guys are really gonna have to watch out and watch the news and everything and then guys again take this seriously you guys are gonna need uh flashlights try to not go on the roads when it's raining or uh wait it maybe a 24 hours for the rain to stop because again these puddles will still be pretty deep just wait for the sun maybe to come out or something but again this is just not something to mess around with maybe act like it's hurricane sandy just act like that because guys this will not be much different than hurricane sandy hope you guys enjoyed the video and bye guys